welcome everyone welcome to the first day of open stack series today we will see what is cloud many of you have heard like download these resources from cloud so guys we will see what is cloud to explain you cloud in a better way let me give you an example let's suppose you have a virtual storage you can say or the storage where resource are kept right lot of resources are kept over here okay so i will draw a resource for you and this resource could be anything which you want to download you want to use on your laptop or computer right let us assume this is the resource right the first issue in the same way you have a lot of resource available okay like that you have n number of resources are available on the internet and these resources are nothing these resources are only this could be your gmail this could be your facebook this could be your instagram but you want to use it okay and after that you want to delete it once you done with the use maybe you don't want to use this facebook anymore so you can delete delete it from your system so these resources will be available here in the virtual space that you can say cloud but how you will use these resources so you require internet to use it because if you don't have internet you cannot reuse these resources right so let me draw one more line over here this line will indicate a internet connection for you right let assume this is the internet for you but from the, using this internet where you will download these resources so how i can see these resources either on the mobile or on computer or desktop let's say this is my colorful mobile okay or a desktop and now i want to use these resources so how i will use these resources with the help of internet so simply you can define cloud that the cloud enable anyone with an internet connection to access it resources on demand so whatever you required what is your demand what you want to use whether you can use it dropbox google google drive gmail facebook skype whatsapp instagram maybe any application okay you want to use it and after the use you want to delete it okay simply from the your computer or from the desktop so these resources will remain available in a virtual space that you can say a cloud and through the internet you can use it so you understand what is cloud if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section right now we will see what is cloud computing cloud computing is on demand delivery of these resources so let let me give you an example to explain you in the same uh, diagram let's suppose you have two set of resources like the one is okay the first one is free resource another one is a paid resource right these are the paid resource and these are the free resources suppose i want to use one application directly from a cloud like whether from the azure cloud or from the aws cloud right let's assume this is a storage okay and you want to keep your videos movies file for 10 days so you want to purchase this resource for only 10 days so you will have to pay for only 10 days not for no entire month or year so whatever if you want to use this storage for 2 days you will only have to pay for 2 days so this cloud computing is nothing but this is the on demand delivery of a compute power database storage application and other it resources through a cloud service platform via the internet with pay as you go pricing okay simply you can say in cloud computing whatever time you want to use the resource only for that particular instant of time you will have to pay to the cloud provider that is cloud computing so you can access as many resources as you need almost instantly and only pay for what you use okay that is the cloud computing in example you can say networks that may be switch router firewall servers that could be an application server dscp dns firewall anything like storage you want to use any storage like google storage or s3 bucket 
application that is the same uh, you can use the applications like dscp dns whatever i told you as a server and services whatever the services you want you can use it that can be rapidly provisioned and that can be provisioned very fast and released with minimal management effort or service provider interactions right so you just use whenever you want to use it and just release the resources and and whatever time you used this resources you will have to pay that is the cloud computing this is a very simple fund of cloud computing now what is the benefit of cloud or the cloud computing the first benefit is on demand self service that allow cloud consumer to provision instances with computing resources that means if you want to create one virtual machine let's say if you want to launch one application right so for launching that application you require some compute resources so compute will be maybe cpu ram and storage suppose you want to create an instance with 2 gb of ram 10 gb of storage and one network interface right for accessing the particular application so whatever so whatever particular resources you have taken you will have to pay for those resources only okay and the second benefit is multi tenancy that allow multiple cloud consumers to share the underlying hardware so here in underlying hardware that means you need not to worry about the hardware part do not to purchase any dell hp or any other servers this cloud operator will give you the underlying hardware that has like n number of ram n number of cpu and multiple network cards so whatever you require to create your instances to launch your application you can take from them right and pay as per the resource requirement now the third is elasticity you can scale in your application or scale out your application as per your requirement suppose if your traf if your traffic in your organization is very high you can increase the resources and somehow if the traffic is very low you can decrease the resources so whatever you are using will have to pay here elasticity means pay as you grow and the next is provides virtual machine on demand so if you require 10 vm to be created for your organization you can create 10 virtual machine and launch application whatever required for your organization telemetry is basically track your resources that how much you use so it is defined as resource can be monitored and metered by the service provider as well as the cloud consumer now type of service model so there are three type of service model first SaaS, second PaaS, and third AaaS. So SaaS that is software as a service, PaaS platform as a service, and third AaaS infrastructure as a service. So software as a service, SaaS provides the consumer an ability to use the software in a cloud environment, such as web-based email, for example. That could be Gmail, Outlook. So whatever software-based services is provided. that could be meet with the help of saas saas is a platform as a service and one of the medium to get pass is open shift there are a lot of mediums to get this platform as a service so basically pass provides the consumer an ability to deploy application through a programming language or tool supported by the cloud platform provider for an example you can take any ellipse or the java programming platform okay and there is no any download required right they will provide a ui through which you can access the resources now ias infrastructure as a service this is the main topic which we are going to cover in our entire series that is open stack so we will create our own infrastructure our own private cloud right so that provide infrastructure such as computer instance network connections and storage so that people can run any software or operating system now type of cloud model first is private cloud second is public cloud and third is hybrid cloud so what is private cloud private cloud operates for a single organization but can be managed on premises or the off premises so the private cloud is clear with the name private that means any organization created their own cloud and it cannot be shared publicly to anyone here open stack come into the picture so that cloud is created either by the open stack or the open shift there are a lot of cloud provider like nokia ericsson jio they create their own private cloud with the help of open stack now next is the public cloud a public cloud has 
an infrastructure that is available to the general public for a large industry group and it is likely owned by a cloud service company like amazon azure okay now what is hybrid cloud a hybrid cloud can be a deployment model so the cloud which use public as well as private that is called a hybrid cloud this is the main topic which we talk about in our entire openstack series so what is openstack openstack is a open source software which means that anyone who chooses to can access the source code make any changes or modify they need and freely share their changes back to the community at large that means is the open source software you can modify anything you want in it right and share your own cloud or your own private cloud to the client and the client can use your own private cloud and pay for it so anyone can create their own private cloud with the help of openstack so how we can create this openstack cloud that we will see in our entire openstack series we will install we will configure we will do everything and we will create our own private cloud and we can own that cloud as well right so we'll see how openstack is implemented so the openstack platform is implemented as a collection of interacting services that control compute storage and networking resources so these are the three important resources which will have to understand very well what is compute what is storage and what is networking so these three things which we require for creating our own open stack right so for now you can understand these are the compute where a lot of ser uh, server will be created on the top of it we will create a virtual machines and networking is required for ip address storage you can understand is a space which is required by any application so we will attach an space to the virtual machine and then and that is depend on the application requirement so whatever the requirement of application we will provide the storage and this storage could be anything file storage block storage object storage or the staff storage you can see this diagram this is complete open stack so first of all there there will be a standard hardware that hardware can be dell hp or anything right and top of that hardware we will use iso image okay and that image has a package of open stack in it and we install that image on the bare metal that is the hardware once we create and deploy this image on that particular hardware we can use that infrastructure in applications and on the top of this infrastructure which we will create with the help of networking storage compute or all our private cloud will be created with the help of these resources and we can deploy any application on top of our private cloud okay so what are the application so any cloud first of all you, you will have to understand why any cloud is created so the infrastructure is created by any mean right the use of a cloud is to deploy an application on top of it when you deploy an application on the uh, the cloud then only the cloud has its benefit and the people can use the application with your help with the help of your cloud then application could be anything like dscp dns firewall or your storage or anything that you are using in your live environment so to fulfill the requirement of client we create a cloud and that cloud may be of any type public private or hybrid so here we will focus on the open stack on which we will create our own infrastructure and then we will give it to the client to deploy their own application on top of our own private cloud and from there you can get money your knowledge will help to that organization to create their infrastructure and also deploy the application on top of it if you know everything how to create a open stack cloud then that will be beneficial for you and you will get a job easily anywhere right now again we will see open stack requirement what is the requirement of open stack so the basic requirement that is the cloud must be simple to implement and massively scalable and also in open stack you can scale in scale out as per the application requirement 
one very important thing is open stack founded by nasa and rack space in 2010 okay and what are the open stack releases so there are lot of releases come on the open stack with letter a to z like a austin b baxter cactus you can see lot of open stack version over here but what are the famous version and these are the very important open stack version newton version 10 octa pike queen rocky stan tran guys i have done my open stack certification on version 16 which is the latest open stack version this is all about today's topic on day 2 we will see what is the component of open stack thanks for watching the video